Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. So our trusty Husqvarna triple nickel is not oiling. So I'm not sure if the filter down there is clogged or what is going on with it. So we're going to try and figure it out and I'm going to take you through the process with me. So if this happens to you, you know how to fix or diagnose if you're not getting oil. So the first thing to check is if there's any debris or anything down in your oil tank. Ours looks pretty good. We're going to check the filter here. It looks good. Nothing's in it or anything. So next, we're going to flip it over here. This hole here looks good. So we're going to have to take off the clutch. So to do that, we're going to have to remove the spark plug and use a clutch removal tool. They have them. They, for the triple nickel, I believe, it's just the two one. I have a few different kinds here. We'll bring them over here and we'll show you what we got. So we have that, we have that, and we have that. And actually, there's a 3-1 I'm going to have to find. So give me a second, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So to remove the centrifugal clutch, this is the tool you use. It just goes in there. The piston stop I had didn't fit, so I just used a piece of paracord in there. And you feed it in there, and then you twist it till the piston doesn't stop. And then you take off the clutch so we're gonna set that over there and let's get into here and see what's going on with the oiler so that looks all good how does this look this looks okay oh that could be the issue there the needle bearing is missing half of its needles that's not good so we're going to definitely get a new one of them okay and then now we're down to the oil pump itself so i'm going to actually clean all this dirt up here first and i'll be right back all right i'm back so i removed the metal plate here that goes right there so you can get a better look and next we're going to take out these two allen keys or allen bolts we'll take off the oil pump and we'll see what we get all right i'm back so next we're going to just lift it out you got to make sure you pull on here because this is the hole that goes down into the oil tank and you just slowly Pull this up and it comes on out. Alright, so let's see what we got going on. Oh yeah. The plastic gears have stripped out completely. So that was what was happening. This is spinning but it's not doing anything. Obviously it got real dirty in here somehow. I should have checked it and cleaned it, I guess. So that's what the problem is. We'll have to get a new one of these. I think I don't need the whole thing. I can just get this top gear and we should be good to go. So I'm going to get that ordered and I'll come back in a few days and I'll show you how we put it back together.